U-turns in this thing are just a dream. You don't even have to think about it. There could be a small child laying in the middle of the road. You could run right over it and not even care. All right, why do people cheat? <clears throat> well, any number of reasons. I mean, you know, people cheat because they're either miserable at home or, you know, they married the wrong person. That's, that's, that's one of the key things is, is marrying the wrong person. I mean, if you're gonna sign on for marriage, you, you better make damn well sure that this is someone that you could really, really tolerate. And I don't mean like, you know, oh, you spent a couple of years with them. It, 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 it looks pretty good, but you know, nowadays, you know, people are getting married, you know, older and older. And I don't think that's because, you know, people don't want to be settled down. I just think, you know, people are wising up because they, they realize, hey, I, I got to be with someone for a little while to see how they're going to act when, when the shit hits the fan. And 50% and of marriage is dealing with the shit hitting the fan. How much of it, you know, I think has to do with this person no longer being the person you married now I, I mean come on we're all gonna get older we're not gonna you know guys we're not gonna always have the the chiseled chest or you know the 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 abs or anything <laughs> shit some of us never had that but you know we can't we can't expect our mates to hold up a standard that we want when we're not willing to do it ourselves I mean come on it's kind of foolish to say oh, I, I want my wife to have a you know swimsuit model's body but yeah, I'm just gonna be a fat bastard and drink beer and eat chicken wings all day. It's just not gonna happen. But you know, how much of it is, you know, lack of attraction to your mate and how much of it is, you know, not, not being able to, you know, carry on life with them. You've been married for so long, right? Been married for, let's say, 20 years. Now, what is such the big deal on letting your mate go check out a couple of strippers? I mean, seriously, what, what, what's, what's the big problem? You know, they're not going to a whorehouse or, you know, a gigolo den. I don't even know what they call those things. I was never the kind of guy that could, you know, be a gigolo. I was always the kind of guy that, you know, I let my personality speak for itself. Sometimes it worked kids sometimes it didn't I don't know I've always had this like look I know why you're here lady you know why I'm here it's a business transaction here's a couple of dollars just shake your ass in impossible heels and we'll call it a day that's kind of my my take on it is you know you're 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 gonna go to the next guy that has you know a couple more dollars in his pocket or is offering to give you a couple more dollars than than me not really my thing you know, not really my thing at all. But, you know, I get it. Some people, some people like that. Some people want that. Some people request that. Some people live off that. I get it. So, if you're married for a couple of decades and... Oh, man. That sounds terrible. But if you're married or, or let's say, you know, with the same person for a couple of decades, you know, they're going to look. We're human. I mean, it, you, you can't expect that person, you know, to to just, you know, stop being a man or stop being a woman. You know, women do it all the time. You gotta be careful when, when your mate says, no, I, I don't look around. That, that's when you really gotta be careful because you know they're full of shit. I mean, how many times have you been sitting there and, you know, you know your, your wife or your, your significant other's favorite movie star is on TV and they just, Oh, they just, they just start getting the vapors and they, they're cutting with you a little bit more and they want you to touch them just a bit more. What, what's, what's the difference? You know, big deal. It, it shouldn't really be a big deal. I don't know where the f*** I am right now. It's not like they're gonna lay down and, you know, spread their legs or... That, that was sexist. It couldn't be spreading legs. It could be... Oh, golf course. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello. I hope you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Four. Oh, I hope I didn't ruin your game because you suck anyway. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Yes, hello. That is a snazzy shirt there, sir. Oh, my goodness. Those are my kind of people, I tell you. Oh, watch out for the sand trap. Oh, interestingly enough, I went to boarding school with a girl that they used to call sand trap. Be oh, never mind. I like to walk on the golf course because of my heart and its health. You kind of let yourself go. A admit it. 
it happens. You let yourself go. You're not quite, you know, the the shining star you used to be when your mate, you know, came up to you and said hello for the first time. It happens. I mean, we're we're not we're not all professional models that are going to keep our figures, you know, for our whole lives. I get it. You know, you you, you definitely have, you have to offer something else to a person for them to commit the rest of their life to you. I mean, think about that. The rest of your life. That shit is a real long time. What's the big deal if they go out with a night, you know, on a night with their friends and they go like, you know, to, I guess they call them male reviews or a strip joint and just have a couple of drinks, relax and just, you know, see a schlong and a banana hammock shaking in their face for a little bit or, you know, see a camel toe dancing across the desert of the bar. <laughs> I totally didn't know what I was going to say there, but it kind of worked out. But that's the thing. Like, like so many people are, are so... I, is it insecure? I don't know, because, like, I'm I'm a very secure person. I, I, I haven't always been, believe me, I haven't always been there. Early, early preteen years, you know, I, I haven't... You know, I was shy, and, and I didn't... I really didn't know who I was, and, you know, uh, uh, what I was going to do in life, and all that. Like, you know, a normal 13, 14, 15-year-old... But, you know, I kind of kind of found out real quick. And I don't know. I guess I've turned into, like, Uber man. I'm, like, I'm a very straightforward, beer-drinking, peanut-shucking, ass-slapping kind of guy. I, I used to be married to a woman that, you know, she was very, very, very insecure. I mean, you know, we would go out and, you know, if I was even caught looking at another woman... Like, oh, jeez. It wasn't like there was going to be hell to pay. Like, I didn't not do it out of fear. Like, oh, man, I'm in trouble when I get home. Because you know what? That whole, like, oh, I'm in trouble when I get home. Seriously? F*** you. I had a mom and a dad. And I, I barely listened to them. I'm going to listen to you? No. No, that's not going to happen. But, you know, out of respect, because I knew it upset her so much, I didn't, I didn't really, you know, look around. I just kind of, you know, head forward, by straight. That's it. Don't look around, young man. But, you know, because she would get really, like, for a week, you know, and, and she would test me, too. Oh, you, you think she's pretty? Oh, yeah, she's an attractive girl. You, 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 you think, think she's got a nice body? Oh, yeah, kind of. I mean, you know, she's got a real nice ass. And I remember one time, and I, I, I guess I coined the phrase, so to speak, um, she has an ass so nice that you can bounce a quarter off it and two dimes and a nickel will come back up at you. <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. I really did. I, I laughed at that for a while. And my uh, my ex-wife didn't. She didn't She didn't really care for that. It led us on an adventure of about a good solid 10 days of, so, so you think other women are, are prettier than I am. Well, I didn't say she was prettier. You just asked me if I think this woman was pretty. Well, is she prettier than me? Well, no, she's, I don't think she's prettier than you, hon. I think, you know, and it just, it was just a whole, whole ball of insecurity that, you know, you, you don't want to deal with. You, you really don't want to deal with. Yeah, my ex-wife, man, she was really, she was really, really insecure. And, and honestly, she had nothing to be insecure about. I mean, all right, I'm not going to toot my own horn here, but, you know, I've been, I've been blessed that, you know, most, they're not all tens, guys. Seriously, they're not all tens at all. But most of the women I've been with have been, you know, really, really good-looking women. And that's not, that's not because I was a real good-looking guy. You know, I wasn't like a drop-dead gorgeous guy where, you know, I can get any woman I want just by, you know, accidentally lifting my shirt and showing off my abs. That, that just didn't happen. You know, it was always my personality that got, that got me where I needed to go. And now I have Kelly, and you know, Kelly, Kelly is a beautiful woman, she really, really is. And her personality just makes it, just, you know, takes her to a whole new level. So I have absolutely no reason to look around whatsoever, at all. I really don't. But I'm human, I do. She looks, I look. Now maybe it's because like we're, we're in, we're in our 40s and you know, we kind of been there and done that. You know, we, we really don't have that, you know, 
oh, I'm insecure kind of thing and I don't want my mate looking around. We're basically like, babe, just look, enjoy, whatever. You know, I know I know she has a thing for Ricky Martin and, you know, I, I, I don't really care because Ricky Martin's married to a dude. So, <laughs> even if she ever did meet him, you know, she's not well equipped to take care of Ricky, <laughs> so to speak. If your mate thinks that you're out poking everything in sight, then, I mean, yeah, that, that kind of sucks for you, and, and that's an insecurity that you, you should really address, but it, it, you should honestly sit back and just thank you. You know, I, I, really, I really appreciate you think that I'm this, you know, viable, attractive person that, you know, everyone on the planet wants to sleep with me. Th thank you so much. I mean, that's really, really awesome of you to think and feel, but... You know, it's it's most times not the case. If you're with someone that you're afraid that everywhere they go, they're looking at others and wanting to hook up and hooking up and cheating on you, then that that's not the person you should be with. I'm sorry. I, I hate to burst your bubble, but what you're feeling is probably not going to get better with time. It's just not. So you need to address the deeper concerns of, you know, what's what's really wrong in the relationship if you feel like your mate you, the person that you you signed on to live life with for the rest of your life and theirs you know bring children into the world if, if you do that you really need to just take a step back and 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 see you know what is it that's the problem here because the problem is not you know fearing that they're going to cheat on you the problem is what don't you think you have or what don't you think they think you don't have that they're going to cheat on you but if, if you have a mate that is good in every single way and that every once in a while you know looks at the opposite sex oh hey the same sex is 2018 shit happens like i said we don't judge here just looking is looking touching well touching is a whole different ball game but just live more with love that's all you have to do. Live more with love. Treat each other better. And honor the promises you make. Not before God or anything like that. I don't, you know, subscribe to the whole, like, you made a promise before God. I don't, I don't follow that. More importantly than God, you made a promise to another person. And if there is a God, if there is the God you believe in that lives with goodness and love, I guarantee you that God would want you to keep a promise to someone that you love. No matter what, keep your heart full and keep your promises. That's all you have to do. Life is easy. People make it hard. <laughs>